good morning guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we'll be tackling the computer, uh, computer studies uh, paper 3 which is uh, the KCC project so before I continue I actually want to urge you to actually subscribe to my channel because most of you are just viewing but are uh, not subscribing to the channel as you can see uh, here is part the statistics so please subscribe the channel then we can continue with the video so this year's uh, project is about a nectar management system so let me just read through the the question paper then we can actually analyze from there so nectar is a company that deals with beekeeping and selling of honey the company offers the following services selling of beehives and associated accessories to the to bee farmers setting up of beehives for the bee farmers offering of training on beekeeping buying of honey related products from farmers for resale the company sells beekeeping accessories in three packages namely single hive mini package and full package as per the following descriptions a single hive is one beehive and it's, and it's associated accessories for setting up a mini package consists of six beehives harvested access, harvesting accessories beehive setting up and training for the one person for one day a full package consists of 12 beehives a honey and a honey extractor it also includes training for two people for one day and honey harvesting kit for two people the cost of each of the full of the packages is as shown in the table one so a single hive is 15,000 kenya shillings mini package is 120,000 kenya shillings full package is 190,000 kenya shillings other services offered by the company are training at the cost of 7,000 kenya shillings per person Sell, sell of accessories at uh, 2500 Kenya shillings per unit. Let me just make some corrections over here. Then a uh, sell of honey, harvesting kits at 600 per unit. Sell of honey extractors at 13,000 Kenya shillings per unit. The company also buys honey from farmers at 900 Kenyan shillings per kg and bee products at 1,200 Kenyan shillings per kg. For further processing the sub and subsequent sales to customers, a farmer who sells is below 20,000 Kenyan shillings is paid in cash, while sales between 20,000 Kenyan shillings and 80,000 Kenyan shillings are paid by mobile money transfer. Any sales exceeding 80,000 Kenyan shillings are paid by electronic funds transfer. A farmer seeking services from the company is required to provide personal details. The details are captured and the farmer is required to make full payment of, for the services sought. Once the payment has been verified, services are approved and offered. If the payment is for training services, the trainee is then provided with a training schedule. The company also provides transport services to farmers and are charged based on the destination and the quantity of items as shown in table 2. So single is 2000 Kenya shillings per package, mini package is 20 Kenya shillings per kilometer, full package is 25 Kenya shillings per kilometer, accessories is 30 Kenya shillings per kilometer, not per item, harvesting kit is 30 Kenya shillings per item, honey extractor is 100 Kenya shillings per item. So the computer, not the computer, the company intends to use a database management management a database to manage the operations develop our documentary computerized database system for the computer for the company that would maintain records of bee farmers maintain records of trainee farmers maintain records of services rendered and products sold by the company capture payments for each package capture income from various sales and training services capture details of purchases from the farmers that was number six Compute each of the following payments for the services to farmers, payments made to farmers for honey deliveries, total sales to clients, transport earnings, income from trainings, total income for the company, and uh, finally generate appropriate reports. So that's all about the other question paper. So first after going through, I know most of you actually going through the question paper. So what I need to you to do is just repeat the question paper again so that's where you can understand how the system also fully works 
So after understanding how the system works, you need to break it down into smaller pieces so that we can work with it in a more manageable way. So the first piece that I'll be splitting it into is uh, this part. The first, we will just need to do the first paragraph. So the first paragraph clearly highlights about uh, the first paragraph highlights about uh, the company and what it actually does as uh, its main objective. So Nectar, Nectar company actually sells beehives associated accessories to the bee farmers. Also setting, it has been setting up the beehives for the bee farmers. It offers training to on beekeeping, then it buys the honey related products from the farmers for resale. So under this first paragraph, we are actually able to identify the main the four main objectives of the nectar management system of the nectar company. So this will come in handy whenever you are writing the documentation that is mainly on chapter one. So next the second part the company sells beekeeping accessories in three packages. So here now we are actually breaking the first paragraph into more detailed view. So to be precise about the packages these are mostly under the first point which is a selling of beehives and this one let me just highlight it yeah. so that one is related to all these one it's related to all of these so i put the same so that is the first one so the company actually is splitted its uh its packages into three which is a single hive mini package and full package so whenever you're actually creating the system, we shall have to create those three packages so that uh, whenever the farmer likes to, wants to purchase any of the beehives, then you just have to select from uh, the three that are available. Next is uh, about the training. So this one is actually linked to the here, point number three. So let me just give it a specific color. Let us use that, so that one looks the same. Let us use green. Sorry, it changed. Okay, we, we may just use the other one. Okay, next is uh, here. Okay. So from there is uh, the training. So after you've purchased the beehives, then they offer also training. So training is based on a, on four aspects. So they train. There is a training which costs seven thousand per person, Kenyan shillings per person. Then they also sell accessories at uh, two thousand five hundred Kenyan shillings per, per per unit. And also they sell uh, honey harvesting kits at uh, six hundred per unit. And finally, they sell honey extractors at 13,000 Kenyan shillings per unit. So that is uh, actually the, the third, the third, the third part. We move on to how the company actually makes the payment. So there, let us use a uh, that one. That one conflict. Let us use this one. Not actually conflicting. Let us use this one. Okay, so the company also buys honey from farmers. So this is actually mostly the financial part of the company. So this is where we shall be talking about uh, all the amounts and uh, how the company actually processes its financial statuses. So how it actually makes uh, the purchases of, uh, of uh, honey from the farmers and also how the company also sells and uh, distributes its uh, its payment after the farmer actually after the company has actually bought the honey and so the farmer will need uh, his or her payment maybe monthly or weekly it depends huh? so here is where we shall compute all the payments in this part that's where we shall figure out how to make the payments so next is a uh, this is actually a continuation after so this is actually recording. A pharmacy key success from the company is required to provide personal business. So this is actually where the farmer will uh, this is actually the registration part of the farm. So here is where the farmer will register the farmers. 
and also keep track of all their trainings and what they have registered for whenever they come to visit the nectar company then let me just say that one then from there we move on to did i use green before no okay so we move on to the next which is the transport so this is the transport issue so here is where the company actually the charges the company proclaims whenever you need uh, any accessories so it, it will actually charge you for the transport for the transport fee whenever you have purchased any either beehive or uh, or uh, any accessories from the from the company for a harvesting kit or a honey extractor that's where the transport fee comes in so from the transport fee then uh, i think that's all this is actually what these are actually the main objectives that uh, our, our system should achieve here these are the main objectives that the system should achieve so here we usually broken it down into smaller pieces which are around uh, let us say four um, one two three there are six six smaller six smaller breakdowns to the system so this actually help us to be able to create the system because even if we work on a greater scale like for example we just uh, start from nowhere there's no way we actually be able to manage to create that system so after breaking down like this is actually a good start for us so the next thing is uh the next so in this video you are actually creating just an overview of the system and uh what you have actually done in the next video you actually will be tackling the identification of tables and creating the tables from there we shall move on to the next part which is uh creating relationships from relationships we shall move on to the creation of uh queries without queries then uh, i don't think if you can manage to isolate or uh, the the system i don't think we can work without the queries so queries from queries then we create the forms so the forms actually help us to enter data into our system and also generate reports some reports here yeah. there from the forms we shall move on to the report after uh, yeah the, the, that the final part creating of reports and also there is one major aspect which is uh, the documentation this will be done as we go on that will be from the start so the next video will actually be starting with uh, creating some of uh, the key aspects that is required in the documentation that is at uh, the title page at uh, the the title at yeah, the top page with the title page then the acknowledgement the declaration the abstract and uh, the de the table of contents that's what we shall be handling in the next video in today's video there's nothing you shall be doing on uh, the documentation part you just understanding the system so my assignment for today is just to go read through the system again just have, as i'm breaking it down for you here as you can see so just go read through the system and also understand it very well so that whenever we come into the next uh, the next video which will be around in a two days or one day time here we can actually handle the table part so we shall be handling the table part in the next video so be sure to subscribe and uh, like the video for you to get a chance to be get to get not notified whenever the next video is out so that's all for today